Welcome to the pyramid, welcome to the PlayStation 1 challenge, and welcome to game number 13. Jade Cocoon. Story of the... The Hama? Nee, story of the Tamamayu. There we go, that, that's, the, that's the real title. Um, very interesting game. Um, Cutscenes and graphics are from Studio Ghibli. I think all of them. It looks very pretty, it has voice acting. And it's a monster taming and battle game. So basically this is Pokemon, but it's not. Let's give this a good old start. I am the Nagi prophet, Gi. I see the future through the words of God. I feel before me the one who shall lead our accursed nation to the foes. That brave statue. It is just as the hunter who is praised in our legends. That hunter shall be known as <laughs> Love it. Uh, let her look at the old man. Uh, I will not keep the Levant. This is the story relevant, like real name. It is also a character in the second game. So this is the real like story name. But of course it is the name of Gabriel. So this character is Gabriel. Also, yes, we will have a vote soon. Uh, for the game for next uh, the game the video game hero for next year we have like a, a few quirky and silly names the curse you can load until we are led to eternal repose may the protection of error be his sounds seem seems low for now okay yeah i don't know like maybe i have to like crank this up the festival of the father the sound of winged minions. Better? And so begins the ordeal. I can crank the bitch up. I go up. Whatever. Oh, it is a, it is a, it is a silent game. The tune of a cocoon master is such an enchanting sound. You will be a cocoon master someday. After all, you are the son of a cocoon master. That's the way it is. And as a Nagi woman, I will be your bride. But you know... Gabriel! Hey, you two! Getting a little hot up here, if you know what I mean! Louie, this is none of your business, kid. Get out of here! I'm not a kid! And besides, this watchtower's my responsibility. I have a job, not like your stupid cocoon master. So there! Is it better from the sound? Don't be messing around just because tomorrow's the festival, you idiots! You're all talk, and a bucktooth idiot, too. <gasps> it's just mockery. Sheesh, I wonder what his problem is. Oh, that's right. Some minstrels are coming to the village square tomorrow. Yeah, but that's a, yeah, that's a game problem. great tales to tell. Let's invite Kalmar, too, okay? Well, we better get some rest. See you at the village square tomorrow. Don't forget. Wow, not the Bakhtirth, yeah. Jeez. My home. Oh, this is so tiny. Why, why tiny? You're actually a cool dude and love your stream. Yeah. Yeah, you can't, like, you can't, you can't mock me with this. You can't mock me with this because y'all, you you're all talk. You're just all talk. That's what it is. That was so tiny with like that. I have to wait. Let me make this bigger immediately because you guys will like trigger it again and then I will... Then I will be like sad for the whole stream. That was so tiny! Mm -hmm. Minus 100. And this will be... 20, 30 maybe? 30%? Yeah, 
can. But it worked, kind of. That's good. Okay, should be better now. Sorry for the inconvenience. Tiny meme, yeah. Okay, hi mom. Oh, that's my inventory. Ooh, I look boyish. I look very boyish. Welcome home. Tonight is a very special night. We welcome the spirits of our ancestors. But your father might still be alive out there somewhere, so he won't need our welcome. Instead, I prayed to the god of the forest for his safety. I know how forgetful you are. Remember to write important things down before you forget. <gasps> Mom! Go to bed. Good idea. Well then, sweet dreams, my son. Yo, no biggie, Mom. Go. Let's go to sleep. In German, this is a little bit better, <laughs> actually. The Wii were the, was strong. There you are. What are you up to? Didn't you say we would go listen to the minstrels? Kalmar is waiting, so I'll go on ahead. Sure. Maybe. The demons will get you to hang around here. You are so bad I hate my dreams. Cyrus, what are you doing out here? Without the lion hair, Cyrus should not have a cocoon master. So you are the son of the lion of hair. Hmm. Well now, let's see how you measure up to your lineage. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Oh my god, I love that the HP bars are still broken. <laughs> that is the best feature! Hey, the PlayStation 1, and it can. Hey! 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 Good to see you. Look how dynamic the combat is, guys. Also, my HP bar looks like a meme. Summon a magic beast. You are no threat to me. 
just the son of a coward. <laughs> Good to see you, Last Raven. Welcome in. Who of you guys even know this game? I'm just like curious. How many people actually know this game? A game that is rated. Wake up. <laughs> hey, mom. You cried out in your sleep last night. Are you all right? Oh. Aren't you going to go see Mabu today? Didn't you say that you would? They are all waiting for you. Well, why didn't you wake me earlier, Mom? If they're all waiting. Mom! Come quick! It's... it's terrible! There's a thundering noise coming from the forest! It's gotta be the demons! Oh no! Mabu! She's gone off to the watchtower all by herself! If it really is demons, she could be in danger! Let's go now! Oh shit. I like that you have like zero clue what's going on in the video game and there's like demons raiding the city. Empress, good to see you around. How are you doing? Finally, the Jade Cocoon fans showing up. How have you been? Beasts of knowledge, touched by the misery of the Great Father, they release a white beast into the forest. Its howl is the requiem of souls. Tradition. Hordes of winged insects have broken through the divide barrier and attacked the village. What can this mean? At long last, has Elrum's Day of Judgment come to Cyrus? I do not believe that the Divine Barrier of Gehenna will hold much longer. We must act. Do you not think so, High Priestess Garai? Destruction is often what comes of the beasts of knowledge. This could be an act of man. The minions of the forest could not have broken through the divine barrier on their own. Whatever the cause may be, once the insects flew off, many of our people fell into a sleep from which they cannot wake. We must do something. I deeply regret to say, those winged insects are the only boo boo, the locusts of apocalypse. The dust spread by the only boo boo plunges all into sleep, returning them to the earth. I hear the ancient empire of Gainapale was swallowed into the forest by an only boo boo attack. It is a pity. But never again shall they wake. A pity, is it? <laughs> How dare you? The only reason we allowed a wanderer like you to live here... ...is because we believed in the divine magic of the Nagi. But you've let our people fall ill without even trying to help. And still you do nothing. So, 
Your divine magic and spells were all just a hoax. <gasps> what? Do you say there is some other way? Such as offering some kind of human sacrifice to pacify the forest? Better to have cut off the source of evil before it came to this. If all it would have taken was a sacrifice. Foolishness. The forest lends no ear to the wishes of man. If you speak the truth, then the evil spirits must be imprisoned one and all. Both of you, quiet down. Now, Garai, are you saying there is no way to awaken them? The souls of those fallen to sleep wander the dream world. To retrieve their souls and return them to their bodies, we must... Yes! That's it! The Calabas Herb! If only we had the legendary herb, might it not cure the sleep sickness? Well now, Garai, are you not well versed in the ways of the forest? Chieftain, what do you say about sending Garai into the forest? What would that accomplish? I would just be swallowed up and never heard from again. Although, the herb is said to cure the sleep sickness. Well, How we make then, notes, that's all on the test later. There is some other way. Or I love that there's just old people sitting and, and talking. That's it. You always were a stranger among us. Any further sacrifice will be the end of the village. Tradition states that a cocoon master shall suppress the demons. Since the Lion of Peril is no more, we have little choice. We must send a new cocoon master into the forest. Garai, we must perform the sacred union. We of the Nagi were born to live together with the Cocoon Masters. Mabu should not object. It is all for the sake of Cyrus. We are prepared. So, then it is decided... We get married! By the way. Summon our new Cocoon Master. The son of the line of peril and Mabu, maiden of the Nagi tribe. I have. There was no gameplay so far. We have. We have also. We already acquired waifu. Hall of judgment. Ten out of ten video game right here. Ten, damn, we good. Yeah, we skipped all the dating part. The bond. In order to cure the sick. The Calabas herb must be retrieved from the forest. You are the child of a long line of cocoon masters in Cyrus. On this day, the sacred union shall be performed. As the successor to the Lion of Peril, you shall determine the fate of us all. I believed in your father, Riquetz. He was a courageous yet gentle man, even though he was swallowed up by the forest when the tide of fortune turned against him. He was certainly not a coward, as the villagers might have called him. Stand tall and work hard. I wish you luck in your father's stead. Oh yes, you must also Cherish your wife. A devoted husband is a Nagi woman's only salvation. You will understand someday. May fortune be with you in battle. I will not spoil this for you. 
But he is right. I can tell you that much. Listen to his words closely, because he's a he's right. Very right man. According to tradition, I hereby conduct the sacred union. Are you both ready? O oh, Elram, god of the forest. O oh, forest, mother to all. We, the beasts of knowledge born of the forest, once again grant us here this day that which touches and moves thy worried heart so that we as beasts may live in harmony with the forest oh so wise oh so wise on left this is the earring of the hunter symbol of your coming of age as long as you possess it you may escape death even when defeated in the forest it is my farewell gift to he who journeys to the land of ordeal now then listen well it all sounds so serious right some people fear cocoon masters and call them impure hunters. Many will be prejudiced towards you. <laughs> Nevertheless, you must persevere. This is a measure of Seth Ritual. Make notes. A terrible ordeal also awaits the women of the Nagi. The infections on their bodies are the side effects of the cocoon purification go. process. These are known as cursed brandings. In the worst case, this can even cause death. Please care for one another in sickness and in health. Tomorrow, your lonely struggle shall begin. Sleep well this night so that you may be ready to depart come morning. Come to my house. We must prepare what you need for your journey. Hunter's earring received. So I will summon up this for you if there's like five seconds of silence. I guess not. I will sum up later. Yes. Ah, I exactly, goes here. Yes. What's the matter? Oh, I bet you're nervous. She purifies monsters and get cursed for that. So much happened all at once today. I'm worn out. Adults always have to have it their way. That's why I don't like them. But it's strange, isn't it? Why is it that only Nagi women are able to purify? Mother Garai says it's divine power. But it doesn't seem that the villagers think so. Who's up there? And who's playing that awful flute music in the middle of the night? After what already happened today? Do you want the monsters to attack again or something? Don't you have work to do tomorrow? Go to bed already! <gasps> Kid! What do you want? Oh, you must be scared. Isn't it past your bedtime? Or are you too afraid to go to sleep? I already told you! I'm not a kid! Try not to get eaten alive out there, tough guy! But I guess there's nothing scarier than Mabu! Ah! You are such a brat! You're making me lose my temper, you little twit! <gasps> hey! Well, we have an early start tomorrow. Better get to bed. And don't oversleep, young cocoon master. Oh. 
See you tomorrow. Last time you said this, we got eaten from the goddamn monsters. Never say see you tomorrow again. Oh, you're sleeping again. Your father, a noble man. I swear there's also gameplay, guys. It will, like, start soon. According to tradition, I hereby proclaim... It's all important. Your bright from this day forward, the rest from this day forward, treacherous girl, treacherous girl, treacherous girl. So if we have, like, maybe a second or two here. So you dress like you've become a man. Still you are but the son of a coward. Like father, like son. That Nagi maiden shall be left behind when you are killed in the forest. How pitiful. Pataimel! Ein Pataimel! We'll crush his soul. Go. So yeah, to sum this up a little bit, um, this village, like Jade Gagoon is like a weird game in terms of like story things. So humans are kind of like a not favored race among beasts in this video game, but whatever, I guess. So we try our lives, but the forest is trying to eat us alive. So we build settlements and we also build barriers to keep the forest question mark at bay. Impressive. You are more capable than I expected. But such is not our true power. Do you think you were up to it? And yeah, we play this. We play this guy from a village where the, his dad is gone, mother left behind. No one there to protect the village, and now we are the new... We are the new head honcho, basically, of... I don't know... Um... Like, we are basically a line of defense against beasts... ...from the forest. Why you put your dragon minion out again? He killed me last time. He will kill me again. <laughs> and yes, you may or may not heard it. Uh, being a cocoon master ah, is not good. Already. And you call yourself a cocoon master. You are nothing but the son of a coward. <laughs> Don't say it like that. Come on, man. I just got here. White is the beast of fate. Blue is the beast of righteousness. The blue cocoon master. Wake up. <sighs> You cried out in your sleep last night. Are you all right? From this day forward, you are the cocoon master of Cyrus. You must be strong. Now, you had better head over to Mother Garai's house. Mabu is probably waiting for you there too. Probably. Oh my God, I have no... I have no gameplay right now. I will just, I guess, send from point A to point B. Oh, you finally come by, have you? I have something I want to give you right away. Have a seat right here. Soon you will enter the forest as a cocoon master. At the forest entrance, there are four gates through the divine barrier. To pass
pass through them, you must have the right key. One of them is here in Cyrus. It is the key to the Beetle Gate. Louis the Watchtower Guard has it. Once you get the key from Louis, you must go deep into the Beetle Forest. Another Cocoon Master lives there. People call him the Blue Cocoon Master. His name is Chorus, and he is a very capable man. Finding the Calibus Herb is important, but first you must learn to fend for yourself. No doubt there is much you can learn from him, for he too is a Cocoon Master. In the meantime, I have gathered what you will need for your journey. If you need something else, you should go to the town shop. Shop? Wounds can only be healed by mugwort herbs. Make sure you have enough. Oh, and do not forget to arm yourself. When your empty cocoons run out, you can get more from Marbu. Oh, yes. I almost forgot something very important. This is the flute of capture. The sound of this flute serves both to imprison and summon minions. Your father, Riquettes, entrusted it to me. A fateful meeting it was. Ah, but perhaps some other time I will tell you all about it. Okay, good. Flute of Capture Receipt. You received supplies for your journey. That's good. Maybe I say bye to Wifey. Maybe that's the polite thing to do. So now you're going into the forest. I don't know why, but I'm a little worried. But if worse comes to worse, you can always use the earring of the hunter to return home safely. Okay, cool, bye. Let's go. We could buy a weapon. Wait a sec. Here. This is a ring given to me by the Nagi chieftain when I was born. It's very special to me. I should have given it to you before, but I was too embarrassed. When I wear this ring, somehow I feel at peace. I hope it helps you too. Well, take care, okay? Tears of Reese. Um. Oh, it's really nothing, but I'll be thinking about you. That's cute. <laughs> and still here I go, and I wander off. Do we have to... Do we want to visit something? Like the blacksmith, maybe? Maybe we need a new weapon? I, I don't think we need anything, but... Huh? What is it? If you're looking for Kelmar, he's not here. This is just great. Where could he be running off to now? Come back some other time if it's a strong weapon you want. It's been so long since I made a weapon for a cocoon master. But even if you had one, would you know how to use it? Really? He's so unfriendly, isn't he? Yeah, he is unfriendly. I'm sorry. His hands are skilled, but his tongue is not. Huh. You still have Our never played this game? Never find a good is this like... Father like you? Hello? They're both so stubborn. Aren't you even listening to me? Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! You're right, corner. It's doing a well better job at whatever you say to me. Whew! That was a... That was a success. Is, is this intro, by the way, uh, PlayStation 1 Edit, is this intro like shocking you like you know like oh my god i don't want to play this it's so slow in the beginning good to see you zelda mode by the way i 
Like, I guess that's the biggest question here, because again, it's a very slow start, and then it's like a fairly short game. Very story-driven. Oh yeah, this is extremo, so we can also go to all these people and like talk to even more people. Bing, bing. But the gameplay aspect of this is extremely fun. Schwab. I uh, want a bit. Of, I want a little bit of schwab liqueur, please. Yeah, so. we don't need anything right now. Let's go to the watchtower, and then we are free to play the game. Can you believe it? Finally. I heard what Mother Garai said, but I don't like any of it. I mean. You of all people! Just because Rakets is your dad! True. You'll just go into the forest and get eaten by monsters! Is your flute really that powerful? That's so lame! Ha! I'll go get the calabash myself! Just wait right here! No can do, little guy. <laughs> Hey, a voice actor with a real microphone, nice. I know how you feel, Louis, but you can't go. You can seek your revenge at some other time. Besides, you know how scary the forest is, right? And how little we can do there. Okay, now I stand around here. can go do it here's the beetle key the chief gave it to me to look after with it lies the fate of the village use it to enter the beetle gate the cottage of master chorus is deep inside the forest he's a powerful cocoon master and he might know something about that herb beetle key Look, try to understand how he feels. Ever since his parents were killed in the forest, all he's ever thought about is slaying those monsters. He may be cocky, but in his own way, he's just trying to be a man. Okay. I... cool. Village Square Forest Gate, let's go. Gonna love the music. Hey, loser! That's me. Kelmar was worried, so he asked me to show you the way. Uh, I feel sorry for you, so I'll lead you there just this once. Don't forget how to get there and try to keep up. Yes, you'll just get slumped. Well, gate. yes, I can. Duh. The beetle gate is the one to the far right. From there on out, it's all up to you. All right. All right. Is it all on the left? You can just like tricking me, right? Is the beetle forest on the to the left? Yes, not. Cocoon Master, show me by playing that flute. Slowly now. Give me a beat! I, 
I know that tune. Are you the son of Riquets, the cocoon master of Cyrus? If the son of Riquets has been sent into the forest, the village must be in danger. Tell me what has happened in Cyrus. Sure. I see. So the Onibubu have reached Cyrus as well. And you came to search for the Calabas herb, huh? Yes. <laughs> but uh, you're flute playing. You don't know anything yet, do you? Your father would never forgive me if I just let you go into the forest to die. I am Chorus, the Blue Cocoon Master. On behalf of my comrade Riquettes, I shall initiate you to the arts of the Cocoon Master. Cool. The path of training is a difficult one. Ask me anything. Ah, uh, capture. The sound of you. Cool. Weaken your enemy and then throw a Pokeball. Let's go. Show him who's boss. Oh! Success with capturing depends on your skill with the flute. And the only way to improve is to imprison as many minions as you can. You won this time because I used a weak minion. In reality, you won't have it so easy. Well, because the game Playing expect you to play the song. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. In time, I give it a little bit of a rhythm thing. Become easier for you. And only carry so many empty cocoons with you. There's it's a lot of songs in here, though. Your your flute your flute playing will actually like be different be to to if you reach certain level. Out. You get better at flute playing. It's super fun. Like it's a minor thing, but I like that it, they even do it. However, it is useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah 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 blah. Merging. Thank you. I don't want. To, I don't want to know about that. <laughs> oh, son of the Lion of Peril, you shall become a cocoon master worthy of your father's name. Okay, bye. <laughs> Let's go. It's forest time, baby. Do a pata meal. I want that. And it's a fire one, too. Oh, yeah! Ooh, only nine damage? Uh-oh. So, again, the biggest thing in this entire video game is that, you know, capturing monsters is fine. They have four elements, blah, blah. You know this already. This is Pokemon. But uh, the thing I skipped in the tutorial is you can actually merge them together. Also, I do not get uh, any experience from fighting them. I need to capture them. My experience is capturing. Monster experience is fighting. Um, so yeah, uh, I can I can um, capture them and then I can stitch them together without limitations and they will change form and they attach things from other creatures to them. It is extremely cursed, it is extremely fun, uh, it makes the game worth playing. In my opinion. Schwab. Hey. Also, my char character has no stats. How much of a Lovecraftian monster can you build? Yes. In my last playthrough that I did here on Twitch, I had basically merged every 
beast together that we found. Which was looking like a... I don't even know. It was like kind of tree... Dog... Bee turtle dragon. It was not looking good. <laughs> It was not looking good. And it was not effective too, because it had like it has like except I expect one, it shall be called Hans. I mean we have Gabriel. Let me see if I need healing. I don't need healing, I guess. Do I have Wurzel? Do I have Wurzel? I have Wurzel. How much Wurzel does it do? Description. Restores HP. How much? Yes. Let's go deeper in the forest for now. Again. Retreat. Doesn't need to fight. I mean, I could like, I could get from every monster two. That would be the. Best thing or the best course of action, I guess. Because that would mean we can always bring them together. Knowledge one. Saving point. Saving us for the week. Oh, yellow one, nice. Also, monsters have families. So... We can find basically... Um, all four... Colors... Like, all four elements of one monster, but they will be slightly different. Mm, I guess I can, like, punch them once more. I tried to capture. Whatever. And then I will do my break time, and then you guys will see how merging... Maybe. Maybe I merge after this. We need a monster to defend ourselves. Let's see if he is willing. Oh! Don't fight it! Please! What a bitch. He wasted a cocoon! my break time now so uh, you can enjoy a little bit of the forest of the beetle music uh, we will be right back with more jade cocoon i know this was all tutorial section but we are basically out of the tutorial now uh, from now on there's like exquisite gameplay uh, and stitching beasts together see you in a second welcome back to the pyramid and welcome back to jade cocoon Oh yeah, do I need to heal? Maybe. Let's go a little bit deeper. Into the forest. Bob. This is my first place. Oh no. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Sorry. No, this is not my first playthrough. I am well aware of this game. If you, want to know, if you want to know if this is my first playthrough or not, in the PlayStation 1 challenge list, um, you, I, I make a note if it's my first one or no.
Ooh, what is this little guy? Come here. Come here, I want you. Where is the list on Discord? Uh, it's here. For now. I will also put it on Discord. Good, good idea. We we put the uh, we put the uh, roadmap on the on the Discord, but not the list. Oops. I still have to like bring in the the things. Ooh, is that fire? Ow! Oh, this is the fire one. Oh, I see. I want the water one. Right, it should say first playthrough. No. Let me look. Yes. It absolutely says this. Yes. Oh, come on, man. Looking at the list, you will have... Yeah, maybe. We will see. But that is not true, because uh, we will play Tingle and Tears of the Kingdom in December, so I guess this will be the last game for this year. And then we will make the roadmap a little bit. We will see what we do with the roadmap after this, after Castlevania, Symphony of the Night, I guess. We have a little bit like time to plan this out. Yo, Tortic Mellow, greetings back to you too. Thank you so much Mello for the recent subscription. It's locked. What do you mean? Thank you so much. I will roll your dice accordingly. And welcome in to uh, Jade Cocoon. I don't need these again. Kind of. No item here. Oh, there's like a green bee. That's good. But you know, you only finished the first four dungeons. Oh, the game is fantastic. You don't know what's happening in the ending. Damn, it's such a good game. I mean this. Ow. How have you been, Tortic? Oh, he blocked my attack. Damn. I will roll your dice immediately, I think. I feel like that's a good idea. Character, torch. Let's see if you have one. I think you do. But no! Oh, you have. I was about to say. <laughs> 26 months. Damn! Okay, stand corner. Okay, you get your roll too. Oh, one damage. I mean, you know, it is one damage. You know what happens? Oh, okay. The story is good. You haven't, you haven't gotten time to join the stream? Oh, it's fine if you, you know, you're, it's good that you're healthy and wealthy. And that's, that's more important. I hope work is not too stressful. And thank you for joining in anyways. Everything, again, I guess you know this already. You can all like watch it on YouTube, so it's fine. There, oh, I hope I always mention that I'm happy wherever you watch it. That's fine for me. What about Jade Cocoon 2? Is it also good? Never played it. It will f it follows the story a little bit though because this character we play is basically uh the head honcho very important character in two that's what you did nice good see thank you 
Thank you for that. Thank you for keeping up. Ah, oh, help me. Thank you for keeping up on the YouTube library. I will eat more shit. Go. You didn't understand it at first. Ah, oh, when I played for when I first played this game, I had no idea what's going on. Come back. Mukambu. Interesting that all the names of the enemies kept the names of the enemies because I remember all these names from the German version. How was my day? I was out for work and it was cold, freezing and very wet. That was my day. I, I, maybe you can hear it. My voice is a little bit rough from from that too. Uh, a new we had a we have a new like construction site. And we were there for the first day today. Important, important day, but on a shitty weather day. Look. Oh, he's just my friend now. Yay. Oh damn! When I like winter. It's just like uh, we need better clothing at work for that environment. Construction work in the. I'm not a construction worker though, so all good. Whew. David has fallen under the arm of a statue with a strange expression on its face. Knowledge 3. So this is a Mukambu. We don't need another one of these. I think. Ooh, red snakes. Yes, please. I think they're wind. They're red and they're wind. Oh, they're fire. Okay. Uh... That could be ouchies. After the word, you look like Kratos. Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, maybe I need a monster for this. Okay. Uh, we'll go home. You remember the fusion system is totally random? No, it's not. Uh, it's not random at all. The, the fusion uses like a father figure and like a mother figure. And if you know that, you can like see the tree. I will, I will show it off. It was a landscape gardener before going for teacher. I love winter, especially when you had like to dig the, out holes to plant trees. Mmm. Mmm. That sounds good. Don't overdo it until you get better at hunting, all right? Try talking with Mother Garai if there's something you don't understand. Okay. But I'd watch out. Her stories can be long and boring. But don't tell her I said that. Okay. I guess yeah, don't, because you're sitting in the same room. Perform Nagi perform Nagi magic. Our enemy we love, and for the tormented we pray. Mabu, waifu material. I mean, she is my wife already. We I, we married her in the beginning of the game, so we're good. I don't want her as wife, though. Because you, like, again, you, like, every time she does this magic shit, she's, like, burning her body. And she's, like, cursing herself with, like, burn marks and curse scars. No dating sim. I mean, you already dated. So, so this is what you do. So if I, for example, want this thing and I put a potash in this, we can see the form. So it, it will use the body of the father figure, which I put in front. Then it will 
you know, it will it will take it will it will take features from this form into this form, and then we have like a fire air beast that is using both forms, right? Like this. If we do it the other way around, which we can, we do it like this. We get a totally different being that <laughs> looks like this because the father figure in this feature is the stringy, the springy thing. And it will it, it will turn something into something else. Um, and you see the result here has like a little bit better fire and yeah, and whatever. So there's like a little bit, there's like a thing to it. Um, it looks more cursed, therefore better. I guess. Oh boy. Speed and magic. We could make like a wasp. We could make like a jumping wasp thing. Oh, this looks, this looks kind of okay. Still looks better than the new Pokemon generations. I mean, I can't argue against that. Um, like we don't need to fuse anything right now, to be honest. Like I, I don't see, I don't see reason to merge. Um, but of course we can merge. For example, we can do this. We can merge away our only dragon that we have into this abomination. Would be even better if we do this abomination. But we could sit here the whole day and make like, the most cursed beast ever known to human. Oh my god. Ever known to human. Oh my god. Help! It looks oddly okay. It looks like the normal scab dude and then we just crushed his back into the front and he has just a gigantic feet but we have this is a bee right yeah we have the bee and we have the other bee but maybe we can like make a better maybe we can make a big bee like this We can make a bigger B, which is all speed, baby. All speed. We could make like a springy dude, uh, a patash with the mukambu. It is a magic user. Hmm. I will take the dragon with me. I will take the knocking dude with me and I will take the Batash with me for now. We don't need to merch. We, there's no need to merch. This is a pure playthrough. Pure playthrough. No merging allowed. I feel like that's the best course of action that we can do. Or it will get out of hand. Ever since your father disappeared into the forest, Chorus has been taking very good care of Cyrus. However, he promised to do so only until you came of age. I think it would be best for you to study under him. That was soon after I left the Nagi village with Mabu, who was yet an infant. I came across a wounded man laying collapsed on the ground. He was a cocoon master. He was gravely wounded, but my treatment revived him. The man thanked me and produced a flute from his pocket. 
He said that he wished me to deliver it to his son, and Cyrus. Mm. Then he disappeared into the depths of the forest, just like that. That man was your father, Rikets, also known as the Lion of Peril. And so it was our fate to settle down and live here in Cyrus. I mean, you could just deliver the flute and fuck Perhaps off. Perhaps this no. too was the will of Elrum, God of the Forest. No, don't want to be rude here, but he, 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 he only said, like, deliver the flute and not, like, you know, set in at my son's hometown. Choku. Choku. What's that? Poison antidote. Oh, yeah. I want that too. The story is that he has to find medicine. Right now, yes. Right now, we are uh, going out to the forest because we were attacked. The village was attacked by... Oni Boo Boo, which is like a flying... <laughs> Destroy me? Yeah, exactly, yeah. You know, by a flying plague. And the flying plague was not good. <laughs> Let's say that. It was not a good plague. It was an average, not so good plague. And, uh, yeah, we have to settle up because people are sleeping in town. And now we want to try to wake them up before they decay and return to the earth, which means dying. Like a lot. Why is my, why is my minion so tiny? And then there's more story to that. But for now, this is what we need. Damn lazy villagers. Yeah, they got stung. They got, like, they, they inhaled. They inhaled mystical powder. And now they go boo-boo. Because it's an Oni boo-boo. So they boo-boo forever. Combat will be more interesting later down the road. For now, we had we we butt slam this B, and we'll get level two. Music is a bop though. Love it. Uh maybe we can get like one of these dudes in another color. No, not here. Not here either. It should be one of these like punching dudes. Oh, in red, nice. Patalchu! Like, try to talk about this game, like, with your friends when you, like, head deep into some drinks in a bar and you just, like, pronounce all these monster names. Here, and then I'm gonna put you. You might, you mean Pikachu, right? No, but you. <laughs> they were non-visible random encounters? I mean, you don't like Pokemon? No orcs deal dealt with sleeping people. They gave a random dude a wooden plank in form of a club. Bam! How about that? You have two HP! Excuse me? Get into my ball. 
Rude. By flute playing. Not good. another fire dude I want to fight him yeah oh man the snakes will be uh, like a different color then ugh it's fine though He has fire horn, okay. Okay. Now we're talking. Oh, he's defending. Too late, my friend. There's no defense against death. And butt slams. Having here. I mean, we can level up the dragon or I guess that's good. I think one water horn will do the trick. Defense low. Level three. That was easy. And we get earth snakes, I think. Is this game grindy? No. This is a non grindy game for one very easy reason I can show you. I need to like I have something in my eye, but after this, I will show you. Oh, it's coming. It's coming towards me. <laughs> um, you don't get experience. Like in a traditional game, you don't get numbers. So if you are level one and your enemy is level one, you defeat the enemy, you get one level up. If you defeat another level one monster, you get half a level up. So if you if you have if you are level two and you defeat a level two monster, you're level three. If you defeat a level three monster while you're level three, you get level four. So it's extremely fast in uh, in um, leveling up. So there's actually no grinding. The same goes for capturing with like my flute with my flute. So uh, it's very fast leveling up. But it's you can never out level your enemy. I guess that's the other thing because you. You need so many more enemies to like fight so you can like be a little bit higher than your enemies but then it's like it gets extremely tedious to like out grind your enemies so you will be always around the same level which is good but you need at least level 80 to challenge the forest elder i think this is like kind of dnd i think we will end up around level 25 and that will be the end of the video game. I do it. Okay, no poison so far. Should be enough. Let's go! 
I wanted the red snake. Now we have like air snake. I didn't want to. I didn't want air snake. Air snake is boring. Fire snake is cool. I take it back! Air, Earth, Air Snake is super cool, right? Earth, Air Snake is so cool! Like, you don't need to be angry at me! How can they resist my cool flute playing? Ridiculous! There we go. Now we can make a snake dragon. It. Forget what I said. Well, forget that again. Ooh! <gasps> New rank. Oh, there's another one. No. I, I don't. Ah. Uh. Okay. Somehow I did it. A danger noodle dragon, yep. Can I pick up the key, please? Thank you. <laughs> go back. Let's go back at the chest. I could, like, leave the forest again. If there is another snake, that means I can... I could just leave and enter and try to change their... Uh... Type again. And so then we can, like, get the fire snake, too. That would that would be kind of good. What did you respawn? What did you respawn? Good. I can tell by their coloring. What elements they are? Yes. Well, iron headband. Three more defense, four less speed. I also have a dagger instead of a niffy. I like the niffy. Niffy is okay. Am I healed? There's like another schoolyard rumor coming up. We will fight a person in a second. You will never... You would never guess which... Uh, what the, the person we fight will never guess and that person has the ability hey captain onosa good to see you it's good to see you around play playstation one rpgs are so nostalgic they are fun i like this one good to have you in we played a few by now we played legend of dragoon uh earlier in this marathon like in this challenge that was a f that was a game <laughs> that was a game back to the kid with chainsaw basically yeah you guessed it could be around here somewhere You never think you saw this particular one? Mmm. Legend of Legaia. Ooh. I've heard rumors of men who disguise themselves as cocoon masters to poach game here. You may be one of them. Like this is more like a Pokemon we kind of thing. Whether or not you're the real thing. No, it's the kid. It's the kid with a bucket on his hand, head. But apparently he can summon. Uh, according to schoolyard rumors, 
he can summon monsters. And if he does, you will die. But I never saw him summon any monsters, so we will, we will be good. Yeah, if you like the PlayStation 1, by the way, uh, we're doing a lot of PlayStation 1 stuff. We try to beat all PlayStation 1 US released games. So there's a lot of games to come. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, Legend of Mana. Do you say beat? Beat. Yes. Defeat them, not play them for a session finish them like whatever that means for some games we have to like still figure out what that means because there will be a kd games in there or, like weird sports games or whatever uh but yeah <gasps> that's a thing you're impressed i mean we will see how it works out in the end it's a long it's a long list but the spear gives off an eerie and moist blue color Provides divine protection against water, so its tip never rusts. Magic defense, attack, and less speed. We getting more and more sluggish. Can't wait for Gauntlet. Mm. It will be an amazing journey. It was an amazing journey so far, but so I see I don't see like any reason why it should not be. Sorry for all the questions. Oh no! I use right now Duck Station, yes. But the graphics are not improved. Uh, I have no pro post, post processing going. Uh, let me check actually. I use Duck Station, so yes. But not for long. I brought myself a uh, Raspberry Pi and I will like make the Raspberry Pi into like a PlayStation thingy. So this is just a temporary thing. I was like, yeah, if I go all the way for the PlayStation, I can also like get like basically a little bit of hardware, which like better, better emul emulation is the wrong thing. Let me see post-processing here. Advanced. I use nothing. This is what it is. Yep. No post. No post processing edit. Nothing. No changes, no nothing. This is how the game looks. Why the game looks so good? This this game is partially made by Studio Ghibli. The dudes that do the Studio Ghibli movies, like, you know, Princess Mon Mononoke and whatever. So. <gasps> Ooh, I love these monsters. Let's go! I love them. These are my favorites. These are my favorite monsters. <sighs> it's a doggy. It's level three. Yeah. Uh, water poke, not good. Uh, we will die. <laughs> I didn't think this through at all. These are level three creatures. Uh. Oh god. And he's fast too, what? Help! If we can like capture one, it would be fantastic. We don't need our monsters for this boy. The problem is I just switched to the water weapon and they protect it against water, so... We will burn through our monsters here. Don't worry about the questions, it's all fine. We just got here. I would be confused too. <laughs> yeah, it is a bug known to the game. I don't know if this is an emulation problem, to be honest. Ooh.
try it. Let's try it from here, let's see. Would be great if I can immediately capture it so we can like run around and maybe capture something else. So if we if we get this monster and another monster, I will combine them and then we are good for the entire video game. And then we can go crazy with like merging any monster together that you guys want. I feel like that's a very okay, that's a very okay statement to do. I, I do the safe bet monster and then you guys can go, go crazy and we can combine the entire world into one monster. Sounds good, but I need this first. It is important for victory. Please don't fight it. <laughs> Why there is straw? <laughs> uh. Okay, good. So this is forest number one. We basically cleared it. But I will go back home. Real quick. Needle warp. If we leave the forest now. This horned dog will be the base of Hans, the first step of his evolution. Oh my god. So we need like more of these dogs too, you say? Ugh. I thought the dragon will be our will be our base. The blue dragon, no? Don't overdo it until you get better at hunting, alright? Huh? Try talking with Mother Garai. Tormented, we pray. Grant us the beast of knowledge, the power to touch. Just the combine spirit. them both for a bigger base. Don't tempt me. Dog first or dog first or dragon first? Let's see. I don't want to see this. <laughs> Let's try dragon first. They're afraid. I mean, it's cute. It's like an armored dragon. Kinda. the feature of the horn is still like a thing and i like that it gets also like big teeth everything else though <laughs> everything else though it, ha it will have water horn and earth fang and also magic and here you see like you know what parents it had. Hmm. I will get the other dogs first. I will get the other dog first. I guess. I, ca I can't. I can't butcher my boy. I can't butcher my boy. 
It's just not in my system. Also, we need the fire snake. And then we should have all monsters from this uh, forest. Should. I like that the weapons will change on your hunter. You see, you see him rock different, different like weapons. damage that's better that's better hey level four nice Why is this monster still green? That should be a yellow one. Did it not change? Apparently not. Fine then. Try again. Only so much we can do. It's not really random. There's only like... In every forest, there's always two types of every monster. That's it. Sometimes there's like more rare monsters. Kinda. But... The truth is... It's another red one. Oh. Shit. You have shinies too? Kinda, yeah. Oh. So if this is a red one again, I guess nothing changed. Sadly. We will see. If nothing changed, maybe I go home and maybe I sleep. See what mother has to say to my new adventures. My mom is nice. Oh, it's still green. I guess I visit mom. Are you doing all right? Eh. Being a cocoon master is tough, but you keep at it. I can teach you many things in place of your father. Cool. Uh, money. <laughs> what do you want to know? I want to know about money. Thanks, mom. Father never teach me about money. Shit, can't sleep. Uh... 
How do I save again? There we go. Maybe we should do that. Okay. Let's try this again, shall we? Maybe we get like yellow dog now. I said it before last time when we talked a little bit more about like Pokemon games and stuff. I lost a little bit the urge to play Pokemon games. I'm not, I'm not sure why, but I, I, not sure. The only thing I want to do is like a Pokemon crowd, crowd control Nuzlocke. That sounds extremely cursed. Everything else though, mm. can you not be red? I will get the other dog though then, I guess. Whatever. So we have like another one for base. For base building. That sounds fun, yeah, that sounds fun. Come on, give it to me. I just want yellow... Yellow dog, red snake. That's all I want. But it's green dog. And green snake, probably. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I guess I visit the town shop or the blacksmith, maybe. Hmm. Also, maybe you maybe you see I I cannot I do not make money I do not I will not find money and I cannot make money. Uh, that is due to the game. <laughs> Surprise! Um, there is one thing you can make money. There is one thing you can make money from. You can capture monsters. Hear me out. No 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 no. Again, I know that your wife will like suffer heavy injury and curse marks from doing so but you know hear me out here you can capture more beasts purify them and then make them into yarn and then you basically sell the monster yarn that's what you do to get money <laughs> so if you think your monster is shit or you just you don't want it just make it into money no it's not a joke and every clothing I wear is basically made out of monster. This is basically Monster Hunter now. Please give me another color. Good bitch. Has it yarn special properties? Yes. Depending on... Depending on the monster I... Bring in for it. I guess my potage can kill this potamiel. Sounds cool. Yeah, it is kind of cool, right? From a gameplay part, I always was like, oh yeah, that's cool. But if you think about what you have to do for it, so again, you just, your wife suffers, so you get rich. It's so weird. Two attacks? Excuse me? Oh. Hmm. 
it will result into the same thing here. So I guess we fight a little bit. See if that changes something. <laughs> my dragon doggo barfed into my old ones, made him into a yarn and new shoes out of him. Yes. That is what you do in this game, yeah. Wait, why is this dude yellow? This dude should be red. Did it change? Huh. Let's kill him. Too. I can do that too. So that is a yellow one. That means these are also yellow, I guess. If this one is a yellow one, that means the snakes are fire, right? Come on, man, I'm, I'm just doing math here. I have no time for your fuckery, I do math. Excuse me, sir. And if he's yellow and the other one are red, that means the doggo is wind type too, or air type, whatever you call it. <laughs> what is it called when the pharaoh lies in the wrong pyramid? A grave mistake! <laughs> Still better than the vicious mockery. I should like charge you more channel points so you never accumulate channel points again. Yeah, this is a red snake now. Fantastic. Zap! Uh, I can kill him. I can kill him easy peasy. Die! Then I have to sell monster silk too? I guess yes. Oh, don't poison my boy! Come on! And yeah, as you already guessed, if you merge a monster into something else, you can obviously name them. So we need a good name for our good boy, for our dog. Because that will be our, like, main line of defense, kind of. Uh, and then we need a name for the abomination that we will create throughout the game. And we have, like, a th third slot for a monster. Stop poisoning me! Hans. Stop! Stop with this. You, you're better than this, chat. You're better than this. You're better than this. There's one more thing. We know about Parthenax. We know about Parthenax? What, what, what does Parthenax have to do with this? We need a good name. It's not always. It cannot be always Hans. Guys, next year will be a, will be the year of a new hero. Gabriel will, you know, set the title apart. Hans will die next year. There will be no Hans. No Hans next year. Can you believe this? Sna, Sna, the <laughs> name. Sna to the rescue. <laughs> is that the name of the abomination, or that is that the name for the good boy? I am thirty-one years old. Oh my God! <laughs> you me. <laughs> How could you do this to me? 
to me. Like Alucard? Oh, man. <laughs> ah, fine. Mm, summon. We need, we need Fire Boy. We need Fire Boy first. Hopefully, Doggo will not eat Fire Boy. That would be good. It's not. Don't kill him. Okay, we need him alive. Don't kill him. No, not no, not for a near. No, not for the name of next year. No. <laughs> you me! <laughs> what did you do to me? How could you even? Man! <laughs> Look what you've done! Oh no. Oh no, I don't have hydration. Hydration is empty. You still vote for Gabriel, but the, the year of Gabriel will end. Good to see you, Jill. Yeah, we do Sna in 2025, 24, and then Hans again in 25, yes. Gabriel is my, is my forever love, don't tell Boris. <gasps> so if I do this, Jill... That's me, Gabriel Knight. What does it do to you? You think I played a demo 20 years ago? I, I guess it was not strong enough to like make it outside of a demo. Kind of sad though. Okay, we will make a good boy now. We need a good boy name though. We need a good dog name. And then we do... Then we do... Sna or... We cannot do Sna and Hans both in our group. You will not do that, right? You will not force me. Pucci? Pucci is okay. Truxton. It's also okay. But you will not force me to have like a good boy dog and then like Hans and Sna. You will not force me to this. You can force me to this actually. Because I'm in charge here. If you don't believe it, I'm still in charge here. Epicness will break the game. So we need Terrafried and Medrek. And do we are we doing the green one? Or are we doing the yellow one? Oh it's both green, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. We do, we do, we do, we do green first. Do hot. Please merge them. So this is our win button. Oh magical beasts who serve us, merge thy flesh to gain yet greater power. Reveal to us thy heroic form. Yeah, it looks it looks polished on two things because it came out late on the PlayStation One and the Studio Ghibli worked on this for the visual for a lot of the visuals. So I guess that says something too. Okay. We need a good we need a good dog name. Pochi. Truxton. <sighs> Yurf Dog? What's that name? Yurf Dog. Hmm. Doggy McDog Face. Yeah, yeah. Again, Genki is the studio that make this game, but they are really good friends with uh, Studio Ghibli. So they made the cutscenes for them. If you see the intro cutscene of this, you will see it immediately. Doggy make Hans. What is wrong with you guys? Okay, I will call him Vincent. 
to show dominance. Pucci is cute, isn't it? Yeah, but it, yeah. No, I will do, I will do Winston. Quish. No, 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 I have to, I, no, no, no. You guys are, you guys are always. There we go, I, I need to assert, do, I will like, I will like assert dominance on you now. It's Winston. Underdog. Want to try and merch some more monsters? Sure. Yeah. Uh. Let's see how a dragon snake looks like. Yippee. Oh, no. This is my father. Thank you. Which character has called Umbrella Jill? This one, Jill. You like it? Dude. Yeah, we need like basically a base a base monster where we stuff all the monsters in I don't know if we want to really start with the dragon. We could like try it the other way around and do the snake first which will uh, Give the snake legs and wings And it's breathing heavy But the color is cute. That's a good start. Oh my god. <laughs> that is a good start for our abandon abomination. Who's who's for this one? Who's for this one for the start? PlayStation 1 idle animations go so hard they do. Digimon World 1 was fun too. But we 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 ended it too fast. Okay, this is the base monster, and it will be Hans, right? You guys are Hans, Hans, Hans enjoyers. Look at the tail, though. Wiggly. Wiggly. Oh, magical beasts who serve us, merge thy flesh to gain yet greater power. Reveal to us thy heroic form. Heroic form! Chat room. Heroic form, they say. We're not done with merging them together. But because this is basically not the end, this is Ma Hunts. Ma Hunts. And then we do Pa Hunts. And then we merge Pa Hans and Ma Hans together. Uh. That's a no. That's a no. That is a big no. That is a no. That is a no. That is a no. <laughs> that that is a that is a no. That is a red flag. I will not do that. <laughs> you know, there's things in this game you know. Ooh, I like this one though, kinda. Yeah, that could be Pa Hunt. And then we merge these two together. And we see what's going on. It will be a very cursed monster. But I guess you already know that, kinda. We will never finish this game. We will just sit here and like... Stitching mon monstrosities together. Would you like to merge more? Sure, ma'am. Uh, we have Maha, Pa Mahans, and Pa Hans making a beautiful baby, which looks like this. Okay, we go. We go away from the features again a little bit. Okay, we get colorization in. 
We have three elements in this bad boy. Ugh. Let's try the let's try it the other way around. Can't believe we just gambled our dragon away for this shit. Ooh. What about this one? <laughs> I like the tiny tail for some reason. I don't know why. It kept a little bit of the tail feature. The face, you know, uh the eyes are cute. Burp, burp, nerp. <laughs> two by pedal. Oh, okay, I see. It's too human. I caught it at a Pokemon, Batman. <laughs> There's no laws against the Pokemon, Batman. <laughs> Needs more legs. Okay, maybe we should like Mahans and Pahans need like something else here. But we we are limited. Because we have only flies and and these guys, so for now maybe for now maybe we have to end this there. Two hundred legs. We will we will get we will get there. We but we need more. Uh, we will get there, I guess. What do we have here? Ugh, why do we have all these like snake being freaks? I don't like that. I don't like this either. I... I'm confused. And I will go to my brick. And you will get used to this abomination. I will be right back. Thank you so much for joining. If you haven't followed the show and you want to keep up with it, be my guest. It is for free and you get notified. Get some drink. I need drink, yes. I will be right back. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, uh, we do these hourly breaks because of the god forsaken. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the pyramid. My place to relax in. I hope you can make this place your happy place from time to time. Yeah, I do these like breaks so like the ad roll will be, be you know over with and you will not miss gameplay. So I will be right back. Chew. Hey, cocoon. The monster scared the clown off. Is that a good thing? <laughs> I guess all the other monsters that we don't need right now, I just make them into money. We don't need to do that, but... Brohans. This can all go into our super monster, which will not be super surprise. Let's see what, what happens when Brohans and Pahans are making out. Not, it's not changing form, only color. Yeah. And Brohans and Mahans? The color is kinda disturbing. But they have the same attributes. And they have poison attack. And they have heal. They're not bad. It's Spyro! <laughs> Look my I found Spyro! Yeah that that I need we could we yeah, this is like the other way around. Like just get the color pattern on on the snake. And I like Spyro more, kinda. Like this way around was a little bit cooler, right? Brohans and Mahans. Okay, we can, we can combine them. Yeah. Also, this is already a level 4 beast without even touching combat once. Step Hans. Here we go. It's all for you guys. All for you. 
Do you want to merge more? No. Do you want to equip? Yes. I want Winston. And I want Step Hans. And whatever that and, and whatever is left. We need like an like we need nothing. Spy Hans. Hans, get the flammen wefe. Okay. Well. Let's continue the story of this game. That was silly. That was a silly moment in a silly video game. Let's go. Do 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 do. Hello, everyone. Hi, Aris. Welcome in. Quick hello! Quick hello back. The Abyss looks back at you, kinda. Okay, let's see what Step Hans can do. I fear for the worst. Step Hans! Agni! Oh my god! The shit. Damn. I mean, you have not seen Winston fight so far, so. Why do I call it? Oh, I was. It was wrong. I should have called him Budefeld. No. Ah, oh, I'm dumb. I need to rename my monster. I need to rename my dog. In the Cowboy Bebop movie in the episode where they get the dog there is like uh there's like a scene in the german dub why am i porting back again um where there's like a kid because they all like follow this like dog whistle thing and there's like a kid just shouting like benefit I, I i always like remember this for no reason can i like not get teleported around, please. That would be so cute. Yeah. If we get another dog, we could maybe get another one. That would be kind of cool. And there's a wind one. Good. Capture time. Step Hans, take a dish. Yeah, get another dark merger with Step Hans. Yeah, that's basically my idea. We could get like another Winston and bring Winston into Step Hans. So he has like a water, fire, earth, and uh, air kind of monster. We could make that. We could make that. It would be like cursed a lot but you know and i'm not joking winston is our win button for this entire game it's, it's one of the sp i don't know why they, they just give you like one of the strongest monsters right away like this dog is crazy oh Step Hans is crazy. I'm sorry. Damn. That was not my intention. Why are we rolling? What are we rolling for? We're rolling. Keep rolling, rolling. Did, did I? <laughs> did I? Did I miss something? Why? What are we rolling for? Should I roll too? I roll too. I don't know why. Let's roll. It's 
Twenty. Oh, let's go. Net twenty, baby. Papa needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Dice is loaded. <laughs> Yippee, this is my father. Look, we did it. Yeah. <gasps> what a bunch of noobs! <sighs> Can't even roll the dice. Thank you. So, <laughs> the son of Cut the lion of Make it snow if you, if you need to, like, express yourself. in my books but in the end I found nothing however there is a folk tale that describes a dust that wakes the sleeping it is the story of a wondrous powder kept by a half bird half man named Kikirak who lives in the dragonfly forest cool. perhaps that powder is brewed from the calabash leaves this is only a guess and it's all I could find but I think it is worth looking into here is the key to the Dragonfly Gate. You should have it. Okay. You'd better head straight back to the village and consult with Garai. She may know something about the tale of Kikinak. You must do your best before it is too late. I'm trying. Hey, if I walk to see you, defies the great father and throws off his shackles. He is now bound to the chains of freedom. The Birdman. Kikinak. So, even Chorus does not know. But I do remember hearing the tale of the Birdman. There is a similar story of divine spirits in Nagi legend as well. Ooh. Elrum released his minions, the divine spirits, unto peril. He spake. Thou shalt not become what presides over life. And so they spent days bringing life to the forest and giving names unto themselves. And then one day, a spirit made up its mind to create a beast in its own image. Elrim warned, that creature is the beast of knowledge and it will someday bring temptation upon you. Thou shalt not associate with it. The divine spirit so promised and gave birth to the beast of its own image. Such was the birth of man, the beast of knowledge, as told by the prophet Gi. Prophet G. As the sands of time flowed on, the beasts bore children and so continued to multiply. Soon a fateful day came to the forest. One of the divine spirits fell in love with the daughter of man, and so the promise was at last broken. Elrum punished the divine spirit for its sin Good by question. transforming it into a beast. Descendants of that divine spirit dwell still in the forest, and sometimes they reveal themselves to us. The Birdman, Kikinok, as mentioned in the folk tales of Peril, might be referring to this spirit. We should seek out Kikinok, the Kikinok. legendary Birdman. Huh. Enter the Dragonfly Forest, but be warned, an average Cocoon Master is no match for the denizens within. <laughs> And be sure to ask the old gravekeeper about the legends. The old gravekeeper? He is the storyteller of Cyrus and should know much about the fables of old. Okay. Cool. 
Also, hello, wifey. How was he doing? Doing divine magic is very tiring. Ugh. After performing a purification, I feel so sluggish. Same. Your magic beasts are wounded. Yeah, you know, they fight. That's what they do. They eat each other at the forest. It's what they are for. Oh, oh, Sailor Moon and Catherine and Catherine. Oh, and Chi Chi and Rukia and Lopmon. Huh. So this is a real big voice then, huh? I had no idea. Rename Winston. Brudefeld. Here you go. Brudefeld. The voice was familiar, so you looked it up. Damn. You have a really good ear for that, then. That the old man I have to, like, talk to? The, the old gravekeeper? Hello. You know, I quite like it here. I wonder if you understand. I have a fine view of the forest. I love the forest. That is why I like it here. When I'm here watching the forest, I need nothing else at all. Cool. Oh my. I almost forgot about the frolicking children. Their smiles are important too. Uh, I want to hear the story of the Birdman, man. Oh, oh, it's cutscene time. Nice. Once upon a time in oh, a shit. far away village, there lived a woodcutter who always boasted of his strength. It is said that the woodcutter wanted to test his own strength eh? by felling the tallest tree in the forest. He hastily ventured deep into the forest in search. Meanwhile, the forest told the great tree of the woodcutter. The great tree sighed deeply, lamenting his foolishness, and he continued to sigh. <sighs> and before long, the breath of the great tree became a thick and heavy fog which shrouded the forest. The woodcutter soon lost his way. He grew so tired wandering about that he soon took a short rest. Just then, sweet-smelling fluffs began to float down from above. All who would smell their sweet scent would fall fast asleep. The woodcutter couldn't help but to fall in a deep slumber, and there he lay, snoring great snores in the middle of the forest. Old. For three days he slept. Okay. On the morning of the fourth day, a bird man flew down to where he lay. He spoke to him. I'm the strongest you always say. One fight with me, if you may. But the woodcutter remained fast asleep. You can try to sleep if you must, but I shall wake you with my dust. As he spoke those words, the birdman sprinkled a glistening white powder upon the woodcutter. With that, the woodcutter sneezed a great sneeze and jumped to his feet. The surprised woodcutter shouted, Who on earth are you? I warn you, I am incredibly strong, and I will battle right now. The birdman replied, You can't defeat me, but if you do, 
We can be friends and I'll share my powder with you. It cures all illness and turns old to new. I got it from the forest people called the Yamu. The woodcutter tried to grab the <laughs> Your grandpa's like... <laughs> But the wood like, is he really telling these stories at the, like, I don't know, the plaza for the kids? On. Jesus. Poor kids. With one flap of his mighty wings, the birdman blew the woodcutter all the way back to the village. The woodcutter told the villagers all about the strange birdman, but not a soul believed him. From that day on, the woodcutter never again boasted of his strength. I could, I could like tell the story in like four sentences. Woodcutter go to forest. Understand? You must step. It seems they all say that he hates fire. Perhaps he was barbecued in a previous life. Okay, boy. So let's sum this up. Strong man goes into forest. The forest was like, oh god, what an idiot. So forest put him to sleep. And then Birdman flew by and w woke him up. Because he can, I guess. And that's it. Oh no, not Beetle Forest. Oops. Have a new key. I mean, I can look at the dogs that are still there so I can get another dog. What's up, dog? Very interesting for the story, though. This is this is what we need to do. We we hunt down legends that we tell ourselves. It's a it's a weird it's a weird concept. One of your favorite speakers, Jennifer Hale, who speaks by your netta. Naomi and Elena and Grandia too. Oh. Grannis! Lord Grannis! I love Grandia too. So good. Ah! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She speaks also uh, Catherine, Quest for Glory 4. Yes, exactly. Sayo is absolutely right. And I didn't sleep for three days watching the forest. And this is why my voice is so cranky and all. Did anyone even understand what he was saying? Or did you just like see some beautiful pictures and you had to read for yourself because it was so quiet? It's fine though. It's immersion. I haven't pooped in a long time. There is no dog. You was busy with your kitty cat. Well, you missed the story. Look, you, you will never catch up to the rich story anymore. It's over. You have to rewatch everything. Like, you remember this one scene in the first game, like in Alundra? That was important for this game. You have to rewatch that too. Next forest. More wondrous beasts wandering around, and we see basically nothing. Hello? Monsters? <gasps> oh, it's dog! Good. Stay afraid. Oh, uh, let's try to get Budafeld in here. We can't kill this dog. We need it for merging. Don't kill it. Yeah. Eh. I will not do 12 HP. I 
also don't need a weapon necessarily. I could just de-equip my weapon or I like, get a knife back in. Could be faster. You need it to... to... what? Jar Kitty, there's actually food in this. There is food. Look, meow. Look, there's food here. There's food right here. Oh yeah, there is a. I never tell you about this, but there is a thing you can do. I never tell you about this. It's a hidden command that no one can actually use. It's not even showing up on the F SFX list. It's just like it's there. Yeah. I as I said, you cannot use it. <laughs> it's only for me. The football is empty when there is nothing in the center. Same for my if I if I eat something, it's the same for me. We can go kill. We can go kill. Why are you looking at me like this? Why are you staring at me? Did I do something wrong? Hey, hi! You like this uh, PlayStation 1 uh, game we play? <laughs> you make me nervous with your stare, kinda. Game shard? Who's using a game shark? We will, we will beat these games legit. Nix, Nixta game shark. Just pure gameplay, pure skill. What 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 will that hack do? Every monster turns into emails. We have three Game Shark Pro users in the back of my face. Ah, man. Sabotenda! <laughs> Good to have you in. Welcome to the show. Thank you for the re Severini of Tier 2 Serini, I guess. A Kickleberry. Good text to speech. Okay. Did you hear it? Fantastic. <gasps> there is something new! Look, Jet! New friend! <laughs> new poor soul that we stitch into our monster. Let's go. If we have if we have cat we have must have dog as well. You're trying to figure out the secret command. Oh, that's clever. Like if you if you wanna see, I have like this. Uh, there's a few commands here you can use. No one uses them though. I'm super sad. No one uses. And Kabibara! What does a Kabibara make as a sound? Very good. Bro. No one uses Awaken. Listen, I'm telling you, Igor's death must be avenged. Oh, and here we go. I should have oh shut up. God. I should have shut up that these commands actually exist. Oh my god. <sighs> I ruined it. There is only science. <laughs> yes, uh, 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 most are used are used a lot. Sure. Very yeah, good. true. Very good is used a lot, yes. Ego is used a lot too. I should have just, I should have just like shut up. That's on me. That's on me. That's oh my god! What is it called when the pharaoh lies in the wrong pyramid? A grave mistake. Why does that have no? Why does that have no? Wait, wait. This is no viewer. Like pull down. Wait. Pharaoh first. You freak. Ninety six. Aim. You freak. 
You freaks, it's over. It's over. It's over, you freaks. No. No. User cooldown. I gotcha. 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 I, gotcha. I got it. It has user cooldown now. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> oh man, ow, ow, kids! Why would you do that to me? Ah, my back hurts. Why are you doing this? <laughs> we usher in the time of snuff. Oh my god. I will never say anything again. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, can we forget about this? Like, can I, we, we will, uh, we will just, why is the very good always working? I'm sorry, okay? We will, we will just forget about the, about the sound effects here on the channel, okay? It, it was a mistake. We can all agree to this. It was a mistake to give you this much power. There was a lot of... Oh, oh no! I can't use Vicious Mockery today anymore. Yeah, I guess it's... I guess it's bound to once per viewer. Because otherwise you guys will... ruin my life. And I can only handle so much vicious mockery. It's a lizard! <laughs> yeah, the snow is good. I love this. Like, people were complaining. I had this for last years. Cheer me out. I had the snow for last years. <laughs> You freaks. Uh, for last year's December, and when it was like spring and summer, people were like, Where's my snow? I want snow bag! So yeah, I, I brought it back in like multiple alliterations now, so there's like randomized snow now on screen. Be happy about this. Where's my snow? Why did you put it away? I hate it. I want my snow bag. I love snow. Can't have enough snow. Yeah. Whew. Your monsters smell like up dog. Huh. What's up dog? What? Huh? Ah! I don't know. I don't know how to react to this. Oh, my mind is shattered. <laughs> Uh, uh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, what is he saying? That did damage to the mind for sure, yep. <laughs> oh. Did you like the did you like the gift that I put out from this? This is from the official uh, Dungeons and Dragons um, comic. It's like a little wizard guy getting a phone out of his head. A tune, yeah, a tune. anime. Did I say anime? The official Dungeons and Dragons anime. Ooh woo. Is it comic? I mean, it's a. No, we will not have an Awuko man. Go, no. <laughs> oh, nah. Mm -mm. I have a life to live. I'm sorry. I like anime. <laughs> There's no secret command. You can, like, every spellage you will do, it's wrong. Comic is a magazine, book, etc. It's on paper. Yeah, did you. How is it, like called if you have like multiple papers stacked together and you can like whoop, whoop, like a thumb cinema whatever a flip book yeah thank you a flip book is also like anime i said it here you go down kino yes exactly i had like we had like a few of like them for like the maso pilami and stuff 
I remember. Kaboom! Our green dog is so much better than the other green dog. We have such a more rich green. Poor man's TV. Wow, dude. Mario jumping on a Koopa. I don't know how to react to this. A new monster! Look, it's a tortoise! It's cute though. It's waddle it waddles along. It doesn't give a shit that we're here. It's not aggressive. Rigu! Rigu! to the pool of hearts that was my thing riggy hmm that was an attack riggy boy <laughs> did i <help? laughs> yeah i'm not sure if i can use that i'm not sure if like andrew is cool with that Go to Pegasus command. Which one? Maybe this one, Ghostly? Is that oh, no, this is uh, this is Kaiba. So this is Kaiba. Uh, let's see if I have a good like Pegasus one on my voice on my command. <gasps> Wait, I have one. It's time for fun, fun, fun for me and pain, pain, pain for you. There's p dozens of people that use his like. Get rid of the garbage. <laughs> Is that a good one? You want this one? Get rid of the garbage! Get rid of the garbage! You want that one? I can I can I can put it in. The pirate of Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Stop saying that, but also true, yeah. Okay, I will I will put garbage in for you guys. Wait. Give me just a second. You guys make me work in my stream day? I, I wanna I wanna play video games. Damn man. I wanna play video games. I just I don't wanna like <clears throat> night fine. Sorry. I'm sorry, I do it. I'm, I'm, I I hurry up. No! Stop that! Please. Uh Try it. Should work. Uh, if I can spell it right. <laughs> Get rid of the garbage. Oh, wait, wait, did it work? What? Eh? That was weirdly delayed. I guess it works. Maybe? I'm not sure. I guess it worked. We just say yes. You forgot what, what you added for you last time? Uh, it was... I added... I added the... Very good, did I not? Very 
Very good. Was that number one? Very good. I should just shut up. I should not talk about these things. Most recent is very good in your time. Mm -hmm. Very good. Why are you like this to me? What did I ever do? What did I ever do to you? What did I ever do to you? Should I like make them like more quiet by the way? Are they too loud? Please be honest here. Are they disturbing my gameplay experience or... I gave you power? Yeah, that was the first mistake. They sound fine. Good. Nice. So they will just so they will disturb the gameplay experience and you laugh about that, right? That that's what it is. They don't overpower me or the game. Yes, good. No no no, it's fine, don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> what are you worry about? What do you mean? No. Budafit is getting like mad level ups. Oh yeah, yeah, it, it, it shall be. It, 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 it is. It is just for funny. I, do, I will not like make a twenty-second like sound command or whatever. So this will not happen here because I think it's not annoying for me if it's just like you know, like you get crazy and it's like you know, like the snow. It will just be there for a while, and it's okay. But man, I could never like. There's just like a like you know, like a sound effect talking or playing music for like <laughs> for like a minute. But yeah, okay. I guess I go now. Why should you? Like the stream here is always a mix between like trying trying to use the gameplay. It's always the exception, by the way. I also like to write my chocobo all day. Thank you. Um, you know, I like to have like the gameplay more or less in focus, and then we have our fun, and then on top of this we add whatever we come up with, without. Without ruining the gaming experience, because that's what I'm here for. Playing video games with you guys. Tendai Yuyuka! It's a fruit. If you don't feel comfortable, the stream might suffer on it. Exactly, yes. So, if I think, like, for example, like, there's something getting out of hand, too. We, I am all... Oh my god, these look crazy. Uh, I will also, you know, change something accordingly. We change stuff in here from time to time. and That's always a good thing. Never forget Sna. Yumi brought this curse into here. And I can't believe that she did, did it. Like, I thought Yumi, from all the people in here, was on my side. But when she talks, and when she like, you know... I always think she's on my side. I was... I, I thought wrong. Hey, there's Percy! Hi, Jersey! The yeah, excellent league mentioned crabs in Jill's stream yesterday, and then... For five minutes I could not hear anything because some random crab man was being played on loop. Oh, you mean like, yeah, this is Fox. This is Fox official. Some crap, man. <laughs> I mean, he would like enjoy that, I guess. Yumi is the priestess of Sna. She saw the revelation, the truth of Sna. I didn't know there was like Yumi related lore. I'm sorry, I guess. Oh, Step Hans is taking a nap. The Church of Sna. Good to see you, Jersey. Now there is and the twin deities, Hans and Sna. I am flabbergasted. I am absolutely flabbergasted. Did you see this white bird, by the way, that is like haunting our dreams right now i see it it's wrong oh it has still mp in it oh there's sleep 
Não. We will capture one of these idiots. Probably. Just as planned. Looks like something that feeds on blood. Can't argue against it. This is why it's cool. Not a Like, we improved the stream a lot, by the way. Uh, the last... I think the last month was extremely crazy to bring the stream into, like, a direction I really enjoy. Like, you know, the sound effects are good. Also, it doesn't cost you, like, a million channel points. We did the boss better, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, if you want to... Uh, by the way, for everyone who is not acquainted with the boss system, we have a dungeon crawl system in here. Which uh, will function on two f on two sides. Uh, it will be you know resubs and stuff like this. Subs, gift subs, resubs, all the good stuff will go into the system. But also you can use your channel points to help out, uh, and it will have impact a lot. So you can throw sand at the boss that is like neutral damage, and you can pick your own class, which has sound effect and flavor text and flavor animation. And you can roll your dice with channel points too to help out. Uh, and this will result into... This will result into... Wanna be a red mage? I... You can have... You can have mage! I don't have a red mage right now. Mage is in. Or like a warlock. You can choose your own class. According from the list. Um, and yeah, you can help out. Stop everything in program and a red mage. I wanna I, I we were not we were not sure about this system, which like more classes I want to bring in. I, I can like add a bajillion classes if I want to, but I need to like, you know, find uh, find the right find the right thing for it. No 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 I can I can I can do classes. Classes is a uh, user side. Yeah. Yeah, I can customize it, but again, I need like an animation and I need uh, a sound. So if you if you have a class and you have like a sound bit you have for it, or like an idea for an animation, feel free to like help me out there, and we can add new classes. If in the end of the day everyone has its own unique class, I don't care, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> you will be a pirate. I will show you off. Uh, I will show off the pirate damage once. So this is the system. And now that you used your, uh, that you used your, um, you know, you have a class, you're in this list now. There you are. I can choose you, and uh, it will do flavor text animation, and you will do damage to the boss. In the end, this will result into real things for you. Gifted, free gifted subs. We make long streams on stream, uh, or we do. Uh, other things. The Yar is Sabotenda's voice, by the way. He's the programmer of this entire system. We will we will make more ri dice rolls when we uh, go into break time. Usually, I do the things always during, before, or after break time, so it will not be in the gameplay parts, but it will be still here. So basically, we roll dice every hour, or if something very major happens. I think Budefeld needs more uh, HP and more uh, food. Oh yeah, so, sure. We will be here Monday to Friday. So if you catch me then, same time always. Thank you so much for joining and discovering this channel. See you around. It was very fun to get to know you. 
and so and, and I think Sabotendo is tingling with excitement too. Another programmer like <gasps> yes. I know Sabo. <laughs> He's like mm. <laughs> fresh meat. <laughs> Budefeld is really strong though. But I think he is petrified? Or he's in the process to get petrified, maybe? No. I think these freaks can petrify me. He's dead, Jim! Yeah, but again, what I... My uh, word before I got into, like, a little bit of stream bosses um the stream really advanced over the last month I, I can really feel that everything clicks better together that you know the community knits better together and all the things that are laying on top are not convoluted or complicated anymore which they were before to be fair um so i think the, the stream overall really rounded itself quite good and it's all thanks to you because you all give me these ideas and like Whip me when I need it. Okay, we're good. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're not good. I thought I could, like, get away with that. I thought wrong. There's so many Earth-type Digimon in here. I mean, monsters. Help. Why are they all Earth-type? Go away. I don't need ya. I need... I need... Wind types or fire types. Eat them, Birdefeld. Oh, Birdefeld got bigger. Look, this is another feature I didn't talk about earlier. Your monsters grow up and they will become bigger while they level up. Like, like physically bigger. Which is a really cool feature. So it's like where we hunted pets grew in size as well. Kinda, yeah. Oh, so much juicy HP. So juicy. What this? Magic use. Hard one. I need to sneeze so hard. I did it. Blew away my brain. Oh. Okay, what are we looking at? There's another dog here. Double tear freight? Oh man. I want step hands to level up, but we can't. There's no good monster combinations that we fight against. I wonder if a uh, Jade Cocoon randomizer would be fun. You know, like you also see randomized enemies, which like also are abominations of some kind of stitched together monsters. I think that would be fantastic. I will not forget my break time. I have still five minutes left and more, Sayo. Why are you whispering at me that I don't forget my break time? Why would you remind me on this? I'm a grown man. Why don't you understand that I'm a grown man? I'm just a grown man. I, I have a clock here and it will like start blinking yellow when it's like going into break. I, why would you do that to me? <laughs> Why, why does Sire think I'm a baby? <laughs> like, huh? I didn't do anything. I just sit here and play video games all day. It does mean I'm not an adult, right? I guess. Mm. 
that would be funny does the game have like something have big enough following to get something like this oh uh or if the fan base would be big enough to do something like this i never looked into something for jade cocoon maybe this already exists i never look at mods or like rom hacks or whatever it is so maybe that would be really funny though i think it would be i don't know if it would be better than the base game <laughs> to be fair but maybe i will go back home i got all the monsters that we needed so far also we getting low on hp leave the forest You know, plenty of old Zelda games that have beatable randomizers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, we played a bunch of A Link to the Past randomizers. They're always fun. We, we played a real bunch of them. I'm back. Please purify my monsters. We pray. Thank you. Grant us the beasts of knowledge, the power to touch the spirit. It's a little bit weird. My, my wife always touches all these spirits, but but she never touches me. <laughs> we got four monsters and they're all earth i don't know we got also the uh the other bird <laughs> huh uh big no big no big no That's a fairly big no. It has an all enemies attack though. You could combine the birds to make the bird look like a bird more. Cool. But let's see if we can like put this into step hans the tear freight fairly big name no means yes maybe i weirdly enough i like this <laughs> Try the other way around before we decide. Ah, no. Oh, that looks like the dude from like Star Wars Episode 1. They come to my store. <laughs> this like dude, like this like, te like the pot racing guy. Oh, no. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't like this. The other one looks more cursed, but this has like, if, if you know, I don't know, I, I will not make this monster. I think I will get like a copyright strike from Star Wars or from Disney. I, you know, my life is precious. We go the other way. If we go this way, this way is like. That's weird. I like, I like it weird. This will be Suhan. Cursed? It is cursed, yes. And now I can like get Suhans and Stephans together. Swans. Merge more? Sure! 
the problem is Stepan's is extremely strong. <gasps> oh, it is an all elements equal monster. This is so dumb. Oh. Oh. So we changed the color to white. Oh. More stupid than cursed. So that's that's a no, I guess. Then let's see the other one around. It looks too normal, though. It looks too normal. I don't know why we have this fleshy coat now, which is a little bit cursed, I guess. But it looks too normal. Also, Stepan's is extremely strong. Oh, we still have Pahans! I remember. Ah! True! Oh, the, for the front legs are in mid air now. What? It exists to bleed on everything. Oh. Is that a good thing? Smile says yes. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, you can decide. I will do my break time now, but uh, this needs pondering. This needs a little bit of pondering. I will be right back. Thank you so much for joining so far. Thanks again for the new follows and uh, also for the resub of Sub Tender. We will roll the dice in a second. So if you have still sand left and all the good stuff, please do. And I will be right back for your entertainment and thanks again for being here did i say thanks then welcome in raiders thank you so much for doing so please check out nina if you haven't from this channel you should advised uh and let's go back to jade cocoon we are making this creature now i have no clue how we will name this creature but it will probably go into haunts oh. It will probably go into Hans and we make like some cursed thing that will resemble Han. And I, I, Step Hans is so good though. Your channel is a trap? I mean, be honest, this channel is a living pyramid scheme. Can you top that? Vice Hans. <laughs> no. Not sure. We have another Tef raid though. But I'm too afraid. We can make another dog with wings and a bird face. Ooh, Earth Attack plus Accuracy. That's kind of cool. <laughs> looking at the looking at the family tree of our Uber Hans. Oh my God! Let's see. Let's see. Let's see the family tree so far. So Step Hans. And Vice Hans. So, if we get into this here right now, we have Brohans and Mahans going into Stephans, Pahans and Suhans going into Weishans, going into Stephans, like whatever his name will be in the future. And it will look like, it, it could look like this. Ah, it's still this. We're not, we're not advancing in form, sadly. 
We are not advancing in looks. Ooh! It looks cute though. I like the eyes. Why do I name one of my Pokemon after the city in the Hochsauerlandkreis? I don't know. Why not? Are you in Budefeld? <laughs> hey, keep Budefeld out of this. Budefeld is nice. He's a, he's a, he's a winner. They're almost cute. No cute monsters. Only abominations. Interesting choice, but you do you. Again, if you watched the Cowboy Bebop, if you watched the German Cowboy Bebop dub, then there is the scene where in the in the in the episode where they get the dog, there's like an episode, there's like a kid running after a dog because the dog is like escaping to chase after uh, after the vehicle which is doing the noises or whatever to like lure in the... the, the dogs and, the, and the, 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 the kid just screamed Murderfeld! And this is always in my mind, I don't know why It's like every time I see a dog it's like this is going to my mind like, Oh my god it's Murderfeld! <laughs> the only thing. My mind is very, you know, my mind is very easy. Maybe we get a wind dog again. That would be good. No, they're green. I don't want green dog. I want yellow dog. Fine, we go into the other. We go into the other forest. Advance the story a little bit. We didn't see even. We didn't even see Kiki Nakna. It is not my love. It's not my expression for the love of the whole Zawalan Kreis. No. You think it would, but it's not. Have you played this game, Nina? If you're still around? I know, if again, if you have to stretchy, if you have to do the stretchies and go to your, do your off the stream thingies, I understand. I usually also raid and fade often. <laughs> also because it's like always late, I'm like, yeah, cool, I raid this person. And then like, oh my God, it's like midnight, I have to go to sleep. Mm. Oh, okay. Step Hans. Can go in. It's ranking, again, I looked it up, this ranks number 236 on a PlayStation ranking from Unknown Origin. So, can't be that, can't be that unknown, right? 230-ish is still big. No. Yeah, it's basically top 20, yeah. Again, I... You haven't played it? Ah. Oh. Again, it's like Pokemon. With a very... It is it is a very interesting game because this is made by a studio named Genki. And the studio Genki, which is the developer of this game, or like Brave, I don't know which one. Um, they are very good friends with Studio Ghibli. I guess that is a name that you know. And Studio Ghibli made the cutscenes in this and a lot of character artwork. So basically, Studio Ghibli worked on this for free because they were friends. No joke, actually true. <gasps> Red. But it's air, it's blood. It's fine, we will capture. It looks like it's fire, but it's air type. 
230-ish out of 1,000. They, uh, they have the... Uh, it, it's ranked from the entire library. It's like ranked from 2,890 games. I looked it up earlier. Again on the... It, the, the, the site called Moby Games and it was like linked... F oh my god, I killed him. Sorry! Uh, it was linked from Wikipedia, so... I killed that idiot. Oops. I was about to capture him! No monsters here. You want to see their new movie in January? Is there a new movie coming out? I'm so out of the loop when it comes to Studio Ghibli. I watched the old school ones and then I moved on with my life. <laughs> Sorry. Fourth of January. January? How is it? How is it called though? Let me look at screenshots. He ran and the boy. Oh, okay, I guess I'm. Everyone knows the news, but I'm not. I got a T-shirt. The first thing I look in Google is a T-shirt with a ping pong thing. Okay. Did you like Studio Ghibli here in the? Aha! Here we go. Why does it all look like... Why does this also, again, look extremely similar to... Uh, the Boy and the Heron? Is that is that what it is? The Boy and the Heron? Like, I find Studio Ghibli here in the boy. The Boy and the Heron. I find this. I don't know if that's the same thing, though. I guess that's it. Hmm. It looked a little bit like Shihiro. Oh, it looked like yeah. It, everything looked like Shihiro for me. I don't know why. I'm sorry. It will be a good movie though. Apparently, like, it will be like it will be like a cryptic. It will be like another cryptic adventure. That will be lovely. I'm sure of it. Maybe I watched it too, actually. Now that I saw a screenshot. Now that now that I know about this, now I is now it's harder to avoid, you know what I mean? Aw oh, man, you guys are you guys are the worst. Now you 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 awaken desires in me that I didn't know I had. It, and ugh. I guess going to the movies is not that bad. You know, getting the girlfriend out, getting the girlfriend into the cinema is always a good thing. And then I, you know what? And I, and I tell Sayu it was my idea. Also, she, she always complains that she never saw like Studio Ghibli movies. She never saw Princess Mononoke. Can you, can you even believe this? And this is what I call girl girlfriend, all right? Mm. Just take a small loan to be able to afford cinema snacks too. Oh, yeah, I know about. I know all about that one. I know all about that one actually. Just smuggle them in. What, my girlfriend? No, I will not smuggle my girlfriend to the cinema. How should I do that? Under the... Un under my coat? How would you even... What? That makes no sense. I was going into the wrong direction entirely. Fantastic. I need to go downstairs. I need to visit Kiki now. Nah. 
Nice dodge. Oh. Yeah, I was talking about my snake too. But, yeah, cool. Good idea. Who is like bringing snacks into the cinema? Like, cinema nachos or like popcorn is the shit. Why should I bring my own, like, I don't know, chocolate with me? Of course it's expensive. It's because it's unhealthy and not good for you, but it's tasty. What is your favorite cinema snack though? The problem is because you sit in the cinema for so long, most likely I, I eat all my snacks before the movie even starts. Then again, I, I like it that way more because then I can concentrate on the movie. When you pass find out what he was watching the D&D film, uh, people behind us bragged about smuggling in the watermelon! How did <laughs> yeah, yeah, my wife is pregnant. <laughs> yeah, my wife is pregnant. Cracking open the watermelon. Yeah, she gave... What, 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 what is... Was your wife not like... Pregnant before? Oh yeah, she gave birth in, in, the, in the cinema. All good. <laughs> She's good. She, she gave birth during the movie. All good. And then we dump the baby, like you do. How do you enjoy the, uh, did you enjoy the D&D movie? How you doing? How you smelling? Hello, Ebrinian. A raw slawing nerd? No, I of course not. No, D and D is always fun first, D and D second. Good to see you, Al. Yeah, the the movie was really good. I feel like all the actors were really solid like there was not there was there was so much stuff i was like yeah this is hard to act i, I guess and they really did a good job with it oh no i, I watched it already i watched it already. that was the first thing i got it i got it and then sai was like yeah well i, I never watched like the other DD &D movies and we watched the very first D, &D movie and storm well say it like why are you making the rules here, PlayStation 1 Addict? Since when? The rule of cool. <laughs> it's everywhere. The first D&D movie is better because of a single thing. The first D&D movie is fun. It's still, oh, it's cringe, but it's good cringe. The dwarf is just like all over the place. Jeremy Irons. Is that the evil guy? It is the evil guy, right? Yeah. He's good. He's good. He's approved. He's Pharaoh approved. Also, he was in preschool with your mom. No. That's just a straight up lie. He said behind you, apparently. Aha! Aha! There's the lie. Apparently. Uh huh. shot that nerd how's l drain is doing today good to have you in oh this is so satisfying dude i'm piercing them with my horn 
don't bother with the other D&D movie films, especially the animated ones. Oh, I, I know. No. Just get home from work. Welcome home. I mean, subtending your life is crazy. Do you know that, actually? Did you know that your life is crazy? Apparently, your mom was in class with Jeremy Irons. I don't believe that. And also, I guess... You have basically Ozzy Osbourne in your family, what was that? It's so weird, damn man. <laughs> it's just so bizarre. <laughs> I can't. It's my my brain is like locking down. You don't need to like vicious mock me. It's just a sour tenders family tree. And you just, your, your mind just goes numb. You didn't watch the show and I fell off the, the podcast. Oh, I see. Oh, hey, you! You wanna fight me or what? I need you for my experiments. You never liked the stream, but the, but the cartoon is really fun. I see. It's hard to find good D&D media, though. Uh, like, there was, like, a D&D, uh, there was a D&D campaign, if you don't know, uh, that was, uh, actually casted by Chris Perkins, uh, with a bunch of streamers. Oh, that was good shit. That was really good shit. Like, I really enjoyed that. Uh, Budafed will destroy this idiot. Oh, you know the two with like pro Jared and like and and all these dudes. Yeah, that was super good. can count fast also that man is just like he's just a he's just a he's just like a fantasy machine he's just a fantasy machine like the, the players are just like bringing out the most like weird sh shit he's like yeah okay whatever he, he already has this scenario in his head kind of like yeah <laughs> like uh, he, he knows the real he knows the revolution and resolution to all this it's so great Uh, why it didn't? Why did it? Did it? Confusion? Let's go the other way down, I guess. If that makes a difference. Eh! Apparently, this is the monster I saw downstairs, huh? Ah! Ah! Some people, some people are like this. Oh, it's a red one. Look, he's cute. He just remembers the dice combination. That is too wild to me. I Like this is like just some sort of fancy skill I would I wish I had. I wish I had like a fancy skill like this. But all I can do is like name abominations in a video game Hans. That that's my that's my specialty.
He was always correct, damn. I mean, there is only so many combinations, right? And I guess he saw them all. I guess I can like, can you like, maybe, maybe, I, I feel like Sabo, maybe you have like Chris Perkins in your line of heritage too, like in your lineage, maybe. Ma maybe he like owes you uh, a little, a little tiny um, favor. Ask him if he can balance out stream boss. Maybe he can like, maybe he can bring balance to the realm of stream bosses. He replied to a tweet you made once. Basically, is he is in your favor now. He owes you. Fantastic. I would like that. And then he looks over and he says, this is all wrong and my mind just chatters again. Chris Perkins doesn't need vicious mockery to shatter your mind. He just tells the truth. Oh, <laughs> oh the truth hurts. I opened another door. With the rule contradicting tweets. Ugh. Ugh. Imagine playing D&D and like never go for the rules. Or like, you know, hardly go for the rules. Ugh. Like, you know, if, if, if the rules are more like a guideline, like, you know, if you're a, if you are a pirate, like, man, you know, how much better would life be? How much better would life be if all the rules were just guidelines? The secret of killing people. Any strong men here? Any? Huh? Any? Hey, you there! What are you doing? That's mine. Oh, you have some nerve. But you can't use that. Isn't that just too bad? Come on, come on, just give it back now. Whew. Well then, I'll be off. The secret of killing returned. I wish whoever rolled the rules actually talked to each other. <laughs> Armenia. And now he's blue again. This dude is like changing color all the time. Crazy. Wait, this is the teleport. This is teleportation magic. How do I... Oh, I got the key for the uh, for the door upstairs. Why is this forest so big? Hey, you lost me. I'm sorry to say this, but you, you absolutely lost me on the conversation. It's fine. You have fun with your nerdy D&D &D talk, and I have fun playing this beautiful game. sounds just like a flaw in you know in the matrix 
Like, so he can, like, gather double the amount of food, but no one says how much food you can gather. I guess it's more like a... I, I feel like this means it's more like a, it's up to the DM. But if there is a ranger in your group, he has the capability to, like, get double as much as you would, like, say a warrior could fight. Right? That, that's basically what that means. No? So if you have to compare... But he found like two pieces of bread. I, 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 I take four pieces of bread. I found four. It's in the room. Give me my four pieces of bread, DM. I need them. Yeah, I love D&D. It's so fun. I wish I had a good group though. Uh, but the last D&D things I did were like not the greatest. Uh, and I struggle a little bit with doing one-offs because, to be fair, uh, one-offs are fine, but if you don't know the people you play with, it's extremely... Uh, it feels extremely out of place. And then again, you don't know each other, there's no dynamic to begin with, and then it's like, yeah, you sit together and it's it could be awkward, it, you know. Eh. And last time it was awkward, so... Like, we had basically the composition of, like, a new player, a player that thinks every, everything needs to be cosplayed. Weird. Uh, then, like, a real rule-heavy jockey. And then there was me. Just trying to, like, survive. <laughs> Just trying to survive. Kind. And I smiled. I tried to be... I tried to be of any value. It was fun. There's something in the bushes, I think. No. Jess. Oh, silver crown, nice. It's beautiful time! Budefeld, zeige dich! Crush these freaks. All of text! So the party killed the bad guy and gets invited to a ball by the king. First the barbarian goes in. Oh my, oh my. So much food. See, at least 10 whole rolls to pigs. And the ranger comes in and says, actually, because of me, there's 20 pigs. I guess. Oh, good. Good block. Good blockage. Good blockage from Budafeld there. Nice. Did you see what I mean when I say this is the strongest monster in existence? He just crushes your balls with a rock. Ooh. Ornamental item. Beautifully sculptured into uh, from silver helps focus mana. I don't have mana. Why do I give a shit about? I don't have mana. I'm not a person. Yeah, doggo is dangerous. Doggo is danger. Doggo will win the game. So we can. This is why we can do everything we want because this dog will actually like rule. There's another thing. I don't need these anymore. You should gift it to my wife. Oh, no, it's my dog. Oh, is this where I... I think so. Hello. Well, what do we have here? Aren't you a little young to be a cocoon master? So, you're a fake too, huh? Get your firefly cocoon somewhere else. This is my turf. You think you're better than me, huh? Well, you leave me no choice. Robo agrees with you. Robo is 
Texan forest portrait? Yep. <laughs> What's their Texan Viking? <laughs> There's a man's turf, take what? I mean, hey, we all been there. Like, all the voice acting in this game is like this. Like, there's only a handful of people that they really bother to give them a real microphone, so... Yo, he can! <gasps> he has a goat! No way! He has a kickboxing goat! I want that! <laughs> oh, he's coming, he's fighting! Oh, he's, he's a big boy! Oh, oh, he rocked my attack. Hey! Step Hans is so much bigger though. Damn! What you but f fuck you then? Uh, we want we, we need like a gigantic goat as our, our third like party member. I think that's our goal. He can spin to win too? Did you love it? You mean the voice acting? The voice acting is fantastic in this game. Step Hans will not get any experience. Oh! Oh, he has a double hit. Step Hans, no! This tiny shithead go. Look at him! Look at him! I will crush you. I will crush you. Budefeld, you know what to do. I have the bigger horn here. How could he even summon the monster? The HP bar is set like this because the game is broken. <laughs> like it's it it should be like normal, but it's not just because of things. I guess this is just an emulation issue, to be honest. Ow! I'll get you for that. You heard so much good about this game. Hey, retro gamer dad, it is fun. It is a good game. I can only larvaki. I can only uh, repeat myself if I say this. Um. There, this is made in cooperation with Studio Ghibli, so if you know anything about that, they made this for free, basically. All the animations, character art, whatever, is Studio Ghibli. Super fun to look at. And uh, the game itself is Pokemon, but you are a mad scientist. You can stitch every monster together if you want to. It's very good. Really good game. Good to have you in. Let me dream. <laughs> yeah, this is lore. Uh, this is lore related that the HP bars are like this. Sorry. Yeah. I need to go home. What am I doing? I need to like regenerate my monsters. Oh, one second. Sayo's waiting for me. I don't know why the stream goes a little bit longer today. Weird. I was about to like end stream. Doing divine magic is very tiring. Sorry. Also, it has voice acting. Ugh. After performing a purification, I feel so sluggish. I miss the Mexican torture, weirdly enough. Hopefully, we see him again. <laughs> Our enemy we love, and for the tormented we pray. 
Grant us, the beasts of knowledge, the power to touch the spirit. You keep my monsters here? Mm. I get another Madrek. I did a Mad I, I get another Madrek Terrafraid combination, so we can make another big dog. Maybe we can make the maybe can we can put the big dog into Step Hans. Maybe. But, despite you all having a good time with the game, I have work tomorrow and it's getting uh, fairly late. So, let me look at this real quick. Ooh, that's a big no. That's a big, that's a big no. But we have all elements again. Which is not a good thing. <laughs> Work. <laughs> Man, you say it like that. Oh, that is even a bigger no. Oh my god, no. No, 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 Could be a yes. <laughs> I don't want to say it, but this could be a yes. Look how happy he is. Look how happy he is to be here. It's a little bit bipedal, I guess. And it's not a goat. Oh, it's it's a good it's a good it's a real good boy though. Twenty eight attack. Damn. What do you think, guys? Last decision for today. Like it's basically our dog, but on two on two legs with mouth. Without horn, but mouth. The same. Maybe not a good idea. Budafet is so strong! 35 attack! <laughs> Damn! And Stepan's is just a good all-rounder. Ah, we will, we will make more abominations tomorrow. We will more make more abominations tomorrow. I think that is a good idea. Oh yeah, we can make big birds too. Hmm. Which will result into like a very fast accuracy. Oh. Oh wait. If I do this. And I, and, I, and I call this beast Crawford. You guys, you guys made that happen. Crawford. Yes. And I wonder if I put this into this, it has the same ability. It loses two attack. But it gains two speed. And it looks like this. 
No. The cool thing on this is that it has like horn and fang, wind and earth attack plus accuracy, which is super cool. But it, it will lose a little bit of the appeal. It will gain MP though. Ugh. I'm not sure. We will think about this and maybe make tomorrow another abomination. But I think Budifel should be kept pure. Maybe. Maybe this is the better. Maybe this is the better thing because it is also earth and wind or air. Uh, and it will get faster. It will get faster uh, and more accurate. I will do not decide this today though. I thank you all so much for watching today. Thank you so much for snapping in, snapping by. Again, if you like the PlayStation 1 and if you want to see more PlayStation 1 games, you're on the right address because we will play all of them basically. A vote remove all his legs. <laughs> That's cruel. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, have a wonderful rest of the day. I will be back tomorrow with even more Jade Cocoon. See you then. And thanks for the raid too. Very appreciated.